Well, hello there. Welcome to my channel. My name is Kristen. Here on this channel, I like to talk about social and cultural issues through the lens of pop culture and public figures. Usually, but not always. Today I'm going to be talking about John Boyega and the, um, the question that is on a lot of our minds, which is, um, is he being blacklisted by Hollywood right now? So let's just, let's get into it. So first of all, who is John Boyega? He is a British actor. You might know him from being in Star Wars. So what's going on with John Boyega? Why do people think he's being blacklisted? Well, there's a few reasons. Um, one reason is on Twitter, his verified check mark has disappeared. Um, another reason is he has been vocal about BLM and other social issues in the past year or so, and that can sometimes earn the ire of people in Hollywood. And in my opinion, the biggest piece of evidence that he might be currently being blacklisted is essentially a hit piece that came out from The Hollywood Reporter. I don't know how else to describe this article other than it's a very clear attempt to make him look as bad as possible and give him as little, you know, benefit of the doubt as possible. And I'm going to be going through that article in this video today to be trying to make the point of why I believe the authors of this article were intentionally trying to make him look bad. And in my mind, if that was the intent behind the article, there's a reason for that, right? Um, one of the co-writers of the article is literally the editor of Hollywood Reporter. So this person is well connected. And if somebody made a phone call to her and wanted her to, you know, get this out there about him, she could easily make that happen. So to me, that's what it looks like. I want to go through this article and just kind of point out the, the places where I'm like, this is very obviously biased against him and it feels unfair. So yeah, that's what I want to talk about today. The article opens by saying that in early June, he exited the Netflix production of a show called Rebel Ridge for family reasons. Um, and immediately follows that up by saying other sources say that he simply walked away from production with filming underway, which according to one person with knowledge of the situation, the filmmakers only discovered when they looked for him at his hotel and found that he had checked out. According to sources, there seemed to be no one incident that promoted Boyega to leave the midst of the shooting. Several insiders, however, say the star had myriad issues ranging from the script to his accommodations. This article opens by saying, well, they said it was for family reasons, but all of our sources say it was something else. And then they list a bunch of other reasons. You know, they give one sentence dedicated to his reasoning and the reasoning Netflix actually published. And then they spend the rest of the intro trying to kind of um, basically debunk that reasoning. In my mind, that shows right away the bias of the author. Then the article follows by saying top Netflix executives tried to persuade him to come back to set. And then it says dozens of crew makers on the project were let go after his departure as the production disbanded. Um, and so, okay, people lost their jobs. Who fired them? Was it John Boyega? No, it wasn't. The production company doesn't actually have to fire people just because talent walked away. So in my opinion, the only person to blame for the firing of crew members after a project is shut down is the person who fired the crew members, not the reason the project was shut down. I think it's very suspicious that they're trying to blame an actor for a bunch of people getting fired when the actor does not have hiring and firing power. The powers that be of this production decided to fire people and decided not to guarantee them the contracts that they had signed. Um, and now they're trying to blame John Boyega for it, but they didn't have to fire these people. That's how insurance works. That's how businesses work. Just because one project is being shelved doesn't mean you have to fire everyone who was working on the project. Um, unless, of course, that's how you want to run your business. But we shouldn't be pointing fingers at an actor. We should be pointing fingers at the people running this business. So Netflix. Then the article just includes a straight up lie saying industry veterans say they cannot remember an instance in which a star walked away from a movie while filming was underway. I know actors who wanted to back out of a movie, but nobody actually bails. Not once they started shooting. Okay. Um, I can think of a lot of actors who have walked off set after shooting has been underway, actually. Just for a test, let's Google actors who have walked off set mid filming just to see. See if a simple Google search would have given this writer 
these co-writers um, some information on other actors who have had to leave projects. Actors who walked off set mid-filming. A list of actors who left and were replaced during filming. Eric Stoltz walked off one of the Back of the Future movies. Lori Petty had to walk off of A League of Their Own. Lee Coleman had to be recast in the movie Friday the 13th. Jean-Claude Van Damme had to be recast from the movie um, Predator. Holly Hunter had to be recast in Chicken Little. James Purefoy had to be recast in V for Vendetta. Doug Ray Scott had to be recast from the X-Men movies as Wolverine. Julianne Moore had to be recast from the movie Can You Ever Forgive Me? My point here is that it absolutely is not unheard of for an actor to leave a project mid-filming. And the people who wrote this article know that. They are lying. Now, only after they make sure to tell us that the project has been shut down and that dozens of people got fired and that everybody tried to get him to come back and that he didn't tell anybody he was leaving, after they give up all this, like, honestly, like, kind of slanderous statements, only then do they follow up with, his agent says, I can categorically say that these rumors are completely untrue. People will form their opinions, often rooted from boredom. As stated, John unfortunately left due to family reasons, which in truth is none of anyone's business except his own. John and Netflix have a wonderful relation, which will continue to grow for years to come, whether that be through his acting or through his production company, Upper Room. So his agent was like, no, that's a lie. Apparently the director of Rebel Ridge declined to comment. I feel like he kind of left him high and dry there by doing that. Then they get back into blaming Boyega, saying that um, Netflix was unable to find a quick replacement and that the project had to be disbanded. And it's already been delayed for more than a year because of 2020. And the budget is said to be $25 million, which is actually not that big for a, a TV show anymore. They're putting in $25 million because it sounds really big. And it's like, oh my gosh, he's causing them to lose so much money. But like, if you actually know how much TV costs to make, um, that's not, a, that's not a huge budget. They just want you to be mad at John Boyega. So yeah, my whole thing when I read this article is just, it just seems very obvious that they want the reader to be mad at John Boyega and blame him for the show's delay and for people getting fired. When again, the person responsible for people getting fired is the person who fired those people, okay? A project is being paused, yes. The production company, they could continue to pay the crew out of good faith. They could do that. They're not doing that, but they could, and frankly, they should. But instead, they want to blame it on an actor who had to leave due to family issues, and I believe him. To me, this is very obviously like an attempt to smear his reputation and the fact that it is coming from like the editor of The Hollywood Reporter herself um, makes me think that um, there is somebody who wants his reputation to be smeared. So yeah. Um, and like I said, I, I think the way the article is written, it makes it very obvious that that was their intention with the article. And so that's why I think it is likely that somebody is trying to smear his reputation and have him blacklisted as being like difficult to work with. There's a few reasons that somebody could be trying to do that. One being he was very vocal in support of BLM and he marched in protests and spoke at protests. Another reason could be um, he actually spoke out about the way Disney treated his character in Star Wars. He said, you know, something to the effect of like, don't trot out um, a black man or a minority character, a person of color, as if they are this important character in the story, like a main character, and then sideline them. Don't do that. Don't make people think that they're going to have a person of color as a main character when they're not. So he just said, don't falsely market, basically, um, which I think is good advice. I think Disney should take that advice. Um, but he did criticize Disney, so that could be part of the issue. Somebody at Disney could have decided, you know what? We don't like this. We want to discredit him. Somebody at Netflix might be wanting to discredit him because, you know, they did say that there were disagreements about the script and stuff. And this show is supposed to be like dealing with um, pretty sensitive issues. Um, it could be that they want to discredit him before he can say anything bad about his experience working on the show. I don't know. All I want, all I know is that like when something is so clearly biased and they're so clearly trying to make you form an opinion about someone that's like either negative or positive, it's worth to it's worth it to look into their intentions and to wonder like, what's their point here? What's their goal with this? Um, Cause I don't, I don't know. I don't trust the Hollywood reporter. I don't trust the people who wrote this article. 
I think that John Boyega is a great actor and I want to see him in more things. I'm glad he has a production company because that means if he is being blacklisted, at least he can make his own roles for himself. Um, but yeah, what do you think? Do you think he's being blacklisted? Do you think that this was just a tabloid article? Do you think I'm being like conspiratorial trying to like piece things together? Let me know. Um, and I hope you have a wonderful day. I make videos every Wednesday and usually Thursday and um, also whenever I want, apparently, at least based off of this week. So yeah, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, look for my Patreon. Um, should be in the link of this description of this video. If it's not, it's in another video. Sometimes I keep forgetting to put it there. So anyway, yeah, that's all I've got to say. I hope you have a good rest of your day. Bye.